As he moves out in front of Gary Kirby. The line ball, cut in. Packy Hartigan has the ball now. Colm Coughlin is calling for it. He doesn't give it to him. It puts it out over the line at the other side. And I want, yes, Pat Foley is going to, to hit it. Better known to Manny and Patrick as well as Rusty. Possibly it's because of his hair, no doubt. Well, a huge crowd here in Patrick's well. Half Foley is going to hit it. Dave Punch is selling his, his meant to cover up. A good line ball indeed from Pat Foley. He's cutting towards the centre and towards Anthony Carmody and Pat Tavard. Now they're battling for it. So too is Colm Coughlin. But it's Paul Foley hurling with CBS Harty Cup in 1984. Gone out towards Jamie Kirby. He's on the left hand side of the field. Jamie Kirby has a shot for a point. Will it be good enough? John Kenny and Frankie Nolan are there. It's a goal! Frankie Nolan has put it in the back of the net. He did it so often with Limerick. He does it here today in the 100th Cena Hurling final of Limerick. Well, John Kenny contested that ball, but Frankie Nolan just seemed to flick at the final minute to ensure a goal for Patrick's well. Maybe this is what this game wanted. There's 13 minutes gone in the game. Has somebody plugged in the electricity to this game? The ball has been pucked in. Then I did not hit there, battling for it. So too is pa, pa Foley. Packy Hartman is in there. Jolly O'Connor. Here comes Ollie. He's got two National Leagues, two Munster titles. But it's been cleared by Leonard Enright. Leonard Enright clears it out towards the centre of the field. There gathers his Colum Coughlin. Colum Coughlin into Turton's Kenny. Turton's Kenny is shot. And wide. Another wide for Bally Brown for a minute. It looked to be in the danger zone for Patrick's Wild. Well. But the old experience of Leonard Enright made sure that nothing was going in. Here comes Kieran Carey. Just one of the three Careys, I've, as I've said already, on this Patrick's Wild team. It's all made up of Foley's, Careys, Kirby's. They're all there. Pucked out. That's a good puck indeed from Kieran. He's the youngest man on the field today. Joe O'Connor is pulling for him. He pulls it off the wing and it's going towards Tony Hall. He whips it in towards the centre. A good ground ball. Packy Hartman and Pat Foley run for it. But there is the man who played so well in the first drawing game against Cork. Pa Carey. He pulls it in towards Jamie Kirby. Jamie Kirby tries to turn. He succeeds a shot. Will it be good? It's looking good. And it is good. It's over the bar. Well, uh, quite an interesting tussle here between Paul O'Connor and Jamie Kirby. Well, so far the rain has decided to stay away and the sunshine is beaming down here in Kilmallock. Francis O'Reilly prepares to puck out the ball. The score stands Patrick's well, 1-3. Bally Brown, just two points. Terrence Kenny Kellex, he's got inside Pat Carey. He's got, will he have a shot of a point? He shoots, it's high and it's over the bar. Terrence Kenny puts it over the ball. That's a, over the bar, that's a good score indeed. That was just, Two pucks from the goalie to Terrence and from Terrence over the bar. Referee is after finding a piece of a hurley in the field. He throws it out and Kieran Carey prepares to puck out the ball. Kieran pucks it to very near us here on this side of the field. Packy Harton and overhead whips down but it only comes to the awaiting Pa Carey. Pa Carey doubles and it in the surely feeding Jamie Kirby is playing very well for Patrick's well. Frankie Nolan is there. No, sorry, it's the captain, Joe Hayes. A shot. Oh, for a minute. It's gone wide, but it looked, looked so dangerous. He went for a goal. It was very well cut out of the air. Sorry, I said it was gone wide, but it's, it's gone out for a 65 minute free. And Pa Foley is stepping in to take it. That was very dangerous and was a good save. Once again from Francis O'Reilly. His brother Jur is playing at corner back just alongside him. Pa Foley studies. There's a little bit of criticism going on around the goal. Ray Maloney is calling, said you're all right, come on, get on with it. Here comes Pa Foley with a shot. It's high, and it's over the bar. The umpire signals it over the bar. So that says 1-4 for Patrick Swell. Three points for Bally Brown.
Francis O'Reilly, who's played so well on this year's championship, and it can be said he's kept Ali Brown in the county series so far up to this. Tony Hall doubles it way down towards Christy Keys and John O'Brien. John O'Brien bats it out. There too is Packy Hart with a shot across the square. Pulls and it's gone wide. Mike Mulqueen just pulled harmlessly and it went away, way wide. Well, a goal for Bally Brown would be what this game needs. The injections would want to come out of some players soon. Up goes Jamie Sean Carey. In there too is Gary Kirby. He's done a lot of fumbling and tapping. No direct hurling so far from him today. There goes Pat Daverton. Pat Daverton is on the run. He's still coming. He's caught it once. Yes, he lets it fall. He's entitled to catch it again if he likes. But it's bought away by da da Dave Punch. A free ball, Pat Daverton, there was an incident there. The referee says it's a free, is he going to take the name of Pat Daverton? Yes, he's making no mistake about it. He's taking the name of Pat Daverton. Pat who played in 1984 as center back for the Limerick minor team. And what an inspirational figure he was. It's a free for Patrick as well, but who's going to take it? Yes, it's Gary Kirby striking the ball. A cousin of Richie Bennett, he makes no mistakes and puts it over the bar. Frankie Nolan says to his pals, come on lads, keep it up. There seems to be a terrible problem with slitters at this end of the field. Teddy Hillerman is running across the field. And p it looks like Peter Mulqueen is making his way onto the Bally Brown team. Yes, it is Peter Mulqueen. Who's coming off? Peter, who hurled with the CBS Hearty Cup team in 1984. Yes, it, it could be his brother. Yes, it looks like Mike Mulqueen is coming off. I just can't seem to get his number at the moment. Francis O'Reilly prepares to poke out the ball. Yes, it is. Mike Mulqueen comes off of the Bally Brown team. Tussling for it is Anthony Carmody, Paul O'Connor, Paul O'Connor dibbling and dabbling. There's no direct hurling here so far today. Sean Carey, Paul O'Connor gets it up and he drives it away across the field. Going for it now. That's a free in the back. Colum Coughlin was fouled by Philip Foley and that's a free in for Bally Brown. About 45 meters from the Patrick's well goal. And Christy Keyes is coming out, a butcher by profession, is coming out to take it. There's 10 minutes to go to half time. So let's hope we can have maybe a goal or even a shoot of points for this match before half time. A shot from Christy Keys. Yes, is it good? It's over the bar. They're still in contention so far. It's early days in this county seen the hurling final. It's four points for Bally Brown and it's one five for Pablo Padraig. Patrick's well, as I said, have won nine senior county championships between 1965 and 1984. Richie Bennis has figured on all of those. Sean Foley is going for his eighth medal today. Going for it at corner forward. Here comes Ali O'Connor. He's on the run. He was injured in that semi-final clash between Kilmallock when they won 19 points to 10. And foul there is Packy Hartigan at the extreme right of the post. There's a strong wind there, I wonder will Christie allow for it? He's about 35 to 40 metres out from the Partridge Wild goal. We can see Shamie Hartigan running up towards. I wonder what he's saying to Christie Keys at that stage. A shot from, yes! Oh, off of the post, you could almost see it coming in for the ball, it was going to hit off of the post. It's around the square, Pat Carey is there, he pins it out to Philip Foley, that's a great clearance. That was surely a heart attack there for Patrick's well attack, but they got it away out of it. Joe O'Connor is going for the ball. So also is Sean Foley. Sean is out around the center of the field. He's playing at corner forward. It goes in towards John Kinney and Jor Hayes. Kinney whips in it way out the field. Here comes Gary Kirby with the ball. The unorthodox style of Gary Kirby, but he's beat one defender. He's beat two. He's still going. He still has the ball in his hand. A shot. 
and it's over the bar. That's a great point indeed from Gary Kirby and also for Patrick as well. He beat three defenders on his way to goal to score a magnificent point from about 40 metres from the Bally Brown goal.